When you reach the edge of the reservoir at the end of the trail, look at the rock layer between the water and the high water mark. Several hundred footprints can be seen at this site, depending on the time of year and the reservoir's water level. The tracks were left by a Dilophosaurus, a pteropod dinosaur from the early Jurassic period of geologic time, about 157 million to 206 million years ago. Its head featured two parallel crests. So we're here, we're there, and we gotta go all the way down to there. Neat. That dock isn't there anymore because the water's too low. Okay, mile and a half, cool. Oh wow, the reservoir is named for the nugget red buttes of nugget sandstone dating from the Jurassic and Jurassic ages of the Mesozoic era that look like fleets of ships surrounding the reservoir. Pretty badass. Okay, and now we hike. Time to hike, time to hike. Bike hike, let's go. Bike hike, let's go. Like, subscribe, bike hike, boom. All right, I'll see you on the trail. If you're into mouth breathing, you came to the right channel. Oh my god, I'm huffing and puffing through this thing. But honestly, I feel fucking great. I do. And so my plan of breaking routine and getting on the road, and I say to get hardened by the road, but I do mean it. Don't make a joke. Don't do it. <laughs> uh, no, but hitting the road for health, it's definitely paying off. And today's hike and how I feel now shows. So... <sighs> prepare for an hour of that <laughs> what the fuck mosquitoes are getting kind of choppy might be a little late for this but what can you do this reminds me I like hiking I'm not a nut about it but uh when I lived in, oh, what is this? Nice. I spent a winter out in uh, Tucson hiking every day to get ready for my worst, get ready for my first around the world backpacking trip. <sighs> it's good. One of the tricks is to turn around and look at the trail. That way you can recognize it coming from the other direction. Yep. Hiking advice from Matt. Let's go. Okay. Man, I'm going to be a beast after this trip. It's pretty good. Pretty good. My body's finally woke up. It's like, okay. We're doing work. The mosquitoes are doing work though. A little bastards. What do we have here? Red Fleet Dinosaur Trackway. Follow tracks. Okay. Follow that dinosaur. Cool. Very cool. Let's go. It took this long to work up a sweat. That's shocking. Super shocking.
I like the sand. Reminds me of home. <sighs> Fuck. All right. Let's go. Whew. We're getting it. Let's go. <sighs> okay. There's the reservoir. Wow. We're so way the fuck off. Wow. Okay. Let's go. I feel great. It's interesting. <clears throat> Two weeks ago, I'd have probably died of a heart attack. Hanging tough. Neat. Dino feet. Pretty neat. <laughs> Oh yeah, getting closer, it's good stuff. Cool. Very cool. This is warning, do not pick up the rocks. Don't do it. All right. Eagle Scout project, way to go Eagle Scouts, proud of you. break the 200 million year old stuff you're gonna get in trouble so don't <laughs> give me a fucking hike back that's for sure All right, there's one right there. There's another one right there. Oh my God, there's one right there. That's kind of cool. All right, good job dinosaurs, way to be dinosaurs, but we got other issues here. I'm swimming. I don't know how deep it is there. Okay. I owe you one, JJ. Well, I'm not jumping first. Why don't you go see how deep it is?
was good. Oh. That little waterbed here. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, when you land, that cave is real fucking scary. I don't like it. I don't like that cave at all. Fuck that cave. And all these dinosaur footprints? Freaky. It's so freaky. <laughs> all right. Oh. We mixed it up. We went from an ordinary ride to an ordinary hike. Pretty good. I wish I was here two hours earlier, but what if? You know what I'll do? I'll hike back out and then drive over there and then jump back in. <laughs> oh. Just going the regular way for once. Swimming alone would give me the creeps. Like, it's too prehistoric. It's too. Yeah. Yeah, it's too much. <laughs> the idea of lizards, monster terror lizards, not keen on it. Okay. I'm sure you could jump from much, much higher, but I'm not going to. Uh, that was pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, I got five more videos to edit tonight. They're all queued up, ready to go. So I'm gonna go home and uh, grab something to eat along the way and uh, do that. Tomorrow is Flaming Gorge and uh, we'll see. We'll see what that is. Usually, national parks or state parks that have the word flaming in it or that's a good indicator so and after that I don't know we're just gonna go into wander mode because I literally have no idea what I'm gonna do I need to turn east but uh, which route which way I don't know just I'm just gonna go as soon as we get through flaming gorge I'm just going to go from swimming spot to swimming spot all the way back home. <sighs> because it's cold up north in Montana. And I'm not ready for summer to be over. And I don't want to deal with the mobs and the crowds. Something you do need to know once you start to get into this, this region of the U.S. At this time of the year in the summer, end of the summer. I know, well, last night... That hotel was $209 a night, which was cheaper for sure, but not much cheaper. Um, so it sounds like, you know, $180, $150 a night is going to be pretty standard, which I don't want to blow my budget on, on rooms. So I'm half tempted to just kind of drop it and run and just head back. You know, I've, I've, I've had my... I've had my fun, for sure, 
but um, I just don't want to piss money away, and I don't want to deal with crowds and mobs and stuff like that, and I don't want to be cold yet, so we're just going to go into wander mode and play it by ear. That's all I can say. No plans. Literally no plans. Just a direction, which is more than enough. So, all right, thanks for coming on the hike swim. I'm going to huff it out of here. Mouth breathe. I'll breathe my way out of here and uh, get on with my evening. Like, like, like. Consider subscribing if you want more stuff like this. Got to various places. And uh, I upload every day when Wi Fi is available. This place smells like it smells like a lizard pet store. Seriously, fly me. Wouldn't drink this. Not gonna drink this. Okay, let's go. For reference, that big ship and that white one. We gotta go in between those two. Slow and steady. Let's go. Still feel good. Nice. You know, I think that one, I'm unhealthy. So there's that. But also, I talked to this 98 year old. I said, What's the secret, man? He said, Look up. I said, oh, that easy. He said, Yeah. So I've been practicing that. You know, just looking up. Between good foot placement and having a positive mental attitude. I don't want to be like, Oh, my legs are tired. I have a muscle cramp. I'm breathing hard. Burr, burr, burr. Like, fuck that. Just deal with it. Look up. Use some uh, encouraging, positive self talk and just go from point to point. Right now, my goal is to get to the rock pile. Well, success. Well done. So it's like. I like that with all things. Like, yeah, if you get choppy, you have a moment. It's fine. Everybody does. But uh, I wouldn't make it a consistent mindset. And then, if you know your direction, don't worry about the end. Worry about what's in front of you. You know? Deal with the problems as they come. Boom. I can flash through the mat. There we go. Alright. I'm going to keep on trucking. It's so cool how a trail looks totally different from one direction to another. And then earlier, I was walking on stuff like this, and it almost looks like uh, sidewalks. You know, like concrete sidewalks. Pretty cool. Dang nature, you're neat. We should hang out more. Okay, bye for real. Pretty cool. Super beautiful, right? Oh, the breeze feels great.
This is a perfect time to hike. <laughs> Alright, Utah. Real cool. All that uphill work I did paying off now. You meet the coolest people on the road. You also meet some people you're like, fucking get away from me. There's some people this morning like that. Bro, fucking shut up and get away from me. <laughs> I like the gold color of that over there. It's good. This is what I was talking about earlier that looked like a sidewalk. Right? Pretty quiet out here. Love it. Oh, that plane. All right, we covered some ground. Oh, we're doing good. We're doing real good. <clears throat> Come around this corner, and uh, then we're halfway there. No, it's funny. When I was a kid, I saw Jurassic Park. Uh, I was terrified of the velociraptors. And so I, you know, ride my snowmobile or motorcycle and I would have this irrational fear that I was being chased by velociraptors. So I got really good at running a line super fast. And I thought, as long as I'm moving, they can't get me. I'm too fast. But, you know, night would come and I would have to park the snowmobile or dirt bike in the garage and I would run as fast as I could into the house freaked out <sighs> the difference between an adult and a child I'm out here in uh, dino country hiking <laughs> I'm gonna use this And, most importantly, I have not lost a trail once, <sighs> which is great. I did that once in Arizona. I turned my buddy James Taylor on that, on that hike later. I said, hey, I'm going to get to a point, and you're going to want to go down into the gully. Don't do it. I did it. It took me three hours of fucking crawling out of that place. It was horrible. And it was the day that I saw Puma. Puma turds. That was, so I was really freaked out. Sure enough, we get to that junction on the way back. It's up on like Mount Lemon. And I said, hey, we gotta go right. He gets to charge with me. And I said, look, man, you do what you gotta do. But I ain't fucking following you. I'll be over here. So I watched him for about two and a half hours, <laughs> frantically scurrying down that and up that and fucking cussing. And I'm up on the ridge line hollering, waving my fucking light. 
he comes up, his eyes, it looks like he was on like ecstasy or something. His eyes were as big as saucers. It's dark. The uh, ice is starting to form on the trail. And he's just fucking gone. He's a Marine. And um, he ran down the mountain. I said, dude, I can't keep up with you. He was just gone. He got to the car. <laughs> fucking 20 minutes before me, it was all downhill. I did the same thing a week earlier. <sighs> My natural time is very good. This is perfect. Nobody's out here. No bugs. No dinosaurs. Just one of the rabbits. But it's hot. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, boom, we made it. How you like that? Pretty good. Pretty good. Our nail has been good. I've enjoyed it here. Now let's get on down the road. I'm gonna go sit in the hot tub and uh, probably take an aspirin. <laughs> Thanks for hiking with me, guys. If you like the content, let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you would, and uh, turn on your bell notifications because when I have Wi-Fi, I upload every day. Bye-bye.